ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Again, this is the captain. And we're now heading our way into Admiralty Bay. The ship on the port side we're just passing now is the General Artigas. Well, everywhere we've been so far, the sun has been shining. There's a little bit of bright up there, so if you can all think uh, really positive thoughts, see if we can clear away some of the gloom. It's still about uh, five miles before we get to our position where we're going to stop and uh, hold the ship. We'll be there quite some time, so do enjoy views. It's really scenic when we get inside. And, of course, the uh, Polish scientists will be coming out in their little rubber zodiac. Now, the good news is, is that once we get up to uh, Artoski Station, now this is the uh, Polish Antarctic Survey Station. A couple of the scientists are going to come on board and hopefully be available to talk to you on the open decks. But equally good news is that seven of the scientists will be travelling with us from uh, Antarctica going back up to Ushuaia. So while they're on board, hopefully we'll have the opportunity to share some of their secrets and find out what it's like living down here. So do enjoy the afternoon in Admiralty Bay. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris speaking from the bridge. So we've crossed the Bransfield Strait from Antarctic Sound and Antarctic Peninsula and left Iceberg Alley and all the icebergs behind us and made our way across the strait to the South Shetland Islands. The South Shetlands were originally charted and discovered in 1819 by a captain named William Smith who was blown off course from Cape Horn and arrived at this chain of islands. He immediately claimed the islands for the Admiralty and King George. And when he finally got to Valparaiso, the British Admiralty assigned a young Royal Naval hydrographer, Edward Bransfield, to accompany him and return to the islands and make a full survey of them. They surveyed and charted all the islands in this chain and gave the island group the collective name of the South Shetlands because of this island group's similar latitude to the Shetland Islands just off the coast of Scotland in the Northern Hemisphere. This island we're approaching at the moment is called King George Island. It's the largest island of the South Shetlands chain. It has this fantastic natural harbour that we're approaching at the moment, Admiralty Bay, and is home to several Antarctic science stations and research bases. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome our new passengers that will stay with us all the way to Suaya. Yes, wave. Make them feel home.
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain. It uh, now gives me great pleasure to introduce you to one of the scientists from the Polish station here. And I'm sure he can say his name much better than myself. But my attempt is Pietr. <laughs> I would like to say hello to everybody from Polish Antarctic station Arstowski. I would like to say a few words about our station and about place we are in this moment. So we are in Admiralty Bay which is big fjord, as you can see, surrounded by glaciers. And from 30 years, over 30 years, it's a place of Polish Antarctic Station. By the way, we will have uh, our birthday party next uh, weekend, next week, at uh, Thursday. It will be 33rd anniversary of our station. We are preparing for having many guests and enjoying our party. Uh, what is the research uh, we are doing on, on our station. This station is uh, Polish uh, Academy of Science station, Department of Antarctic Biology. So uh, most programs are focused on biology. Now main projects we are working, uh, it's Klikopen. It is uh, climate change along Antarctic Peninsula. What is the climate change impact to all uh, animals they are living here t from from small bacterial till up to penguins and whales mm, of course our station has also normal work which is our uh, day after day duty it's uh, penguins monitoring it's uh, seals uh, monitoring whales monitoring they are showing around our station we have great colonies uh, around our station we have Adelie penguins, about 6,000 nesting pairs. Uh, Gentoo penguins, also something like 2,000 of them. And some chinstraps, uh, 1,000 chinstrap penguins. So we are making, uh, every year we are making monitoring. We count them. We, we check how is, what is the condition of the, of the chicks, wh how good was the air for them. Because looking for them, we can say something about krill. Uh, if you know krill, it's a small shrimp-like animal, which is the key uh, animal for this ecosystem. Uh, in, and uh, knowing about uh, penguin condition, uh, you can tell something about krill, because their diet is almost, almost just krill. And uh, we are also making uh, meteorological uh, research, which, uh, which is day-after-day uh, -day observations and gla glaciers monitoring, because here there are very strong evidences of uh, climate changes. Since 30 years uh, our station is here, some glaciers uh, retreat about one kilometer. I would like to thank you very much for, uh, for your help, for your hospitality for our uh, people. You will have uh, our seven scientists they are very great specialists. They are some geologists. They are biologists. So you will have also opportunity to have some information from first hand from them. And for us, it's a big pleasure to be here and to say a few words uh, from, from the bridge. Thank you very much for everything. Uh, and have a great trip in Antarctica. Enjoy it. Well, this is Joe, your port lecture. We want to thank uh, Pietro very much, and uh, all I know how to say in Polish is thank you. Dziękuję. And now back to our captain, Edward Perry. Well, we thank you very much, and uh, it's a great pleasure to have you on board, you. and your co colleagues traveling with us, and uh, do hope they're going to have a fair ride, enjoy the uh, passenger facilities, which I'm sure they're probably looking forward to, and uh, we wish you all the very best with your, your missions down here. Thank you for coming.